All right, we're back for another round of 19-4. It seems as if the game has remembered my place. I still have my second level. Hold on, my audio levels are... I noticed in the last video that I was blasting you out with the lab mic, so I'm trying to condense your mic again today. I got the game volume up here. I turn this down here a little bit. Okay. So... If I recall correctly, I had just completed the tutorial last time and we had gotten a first mission, but there were other tutorials left for digital forensics, which I am interested in doing because that is my thing, um, but I also would like to know what the actual gameplay is like. So what do we have available to us? We got story mode, open world, optional assignments for agents looking for you, bigger challenge. Bounties are now available to us. Well, I want to know what the game is like, so we're going to do the story mode. Blah, blah. Alright. Operation Withering Dusk. That's an Operation Ivy. Castle Ivy. There's Castle Ivy. Oops, I didn't want to pick it. I just wanted to see where it was. But, okay. Military grade malware was stolen from 194 by as of yet unknown means. SAD believes Bureau 121 to be behind the leak, but they have no proof to back their claims. A similar leak of an NSA exploit in 2017 caused approximately so 10 billion US dollars in damage. Actor. So we need to work Say, uh, fast to locate this malware and from, assess believe, the scope North of the Korea. leak. Traces of it have recently been detected in the field, and things could go from bad to worse at any moment. Castle Ivy. Maybe I can terminate it. What, what did I do? Oh, selecting it to the thing. Okay. Um, do I still see the other one up on here? If I remember if it was somewhere. I guess not. It doesn't give me any information about it unless I actually select it. So that's fine. Let's let's do the first story mission here for this. This seems like special operations might be extra things. I don't know. We'll see how long this takes. Type investigation, real life, minimal. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Beginner level, ambiance, spy agent, military grade malware was stolen from 1904 by as, as of yet unknown means. Assess the scope of the leak. For absolute beginners. Okay. Team 4 has partnered with the U.S. government to operate the Turbine platform. This platform is an automated management and control system for a large and dynamic network of implants. What? When a malware is deployed, it's automatically registered as what we call a Turbine C2 card. C2 stands for Command and Control. Uh -huh, it's basically uh -huh. a registry of backdoors we've secured to various networks. Can I pause? Each oh, Turbine C2 card has its own operation ID and authorization code. Think of it as a Rolodex of covert access into a wide variety of networks. It's so weird they're Four using nomenclature ago, in this game. Four hours someone activated a piece of 19-4 malware known as Blood <coughs> Dove without a valid operation ID. The deployment was unauthorized and unrelated to any ongoing or sanctioned missions. I'll explain this. Your mission objectives are connect to the Castle Ivy Turbine C2 card, use the WMI scanner to locate any local share folders, Use the password attack tools to gain access. Locate the copy of our Blood Dove malware. All right. Um, so their use of nomenclature in this game is really strange. Like they're using terms that are real terms, but they're kind of using them in the wrong way. And then they are over explaining very simple terms as if the game is for people who have no previous exposure to the topic, which is fine. But they'll explain really simple terms and then not explain at all other terms that are way more complicated. Like, they bother to explain that C2 is command and control. If you have any exposure at all to the world of information security uh, or cyber warfare or anything, you know what C2 means. Like, that's simple, that's simple stuff. 
But what was the first thing they were talking about? Team 4 has Hold partnered on. with the US government to operate the turbine platform. This platform is an automated management and control system for a large, large dynamic, dynamic network, network of implants. Of implants. Uh, what the hell is that supposed the to mean? That they don't bother to explain, right? <laughs> so weird. But okay. All right. Connect to the Castle Ivy Turbine C2 card. Inspect the network for potential digital repositories using the WMI scanner. Crack the user account with the password attack and find relevant files to help you in the investigation. It doesn't tell me exactly what I'm looking for. It just gave me the name of the malware's blood dove, but I don't have any of the indicators of compromise, and I don't have any of the hash values or anything that I would normally do uh, in order to, to look for files. So I guess I'm just going to poke around until I see something that is obviously related to blood dove, meaning it will probably be named blood dove of some kind, which is not an all true life, but whatever. Um, maybe I'll know it when I see it or something, or maybe they'll give me the information later. Um, agencies involved, sad. That's just the perfect name. Perfect name. All right, let's start this. Oh, wow, your first mission. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah, Sergeant Wheeler's exciting. briefing was pretty straightforward, but if you have any if issues you say with so, file browser yeah. and password attack tools, you can always come back to the academy and complete your digital forensics oh. training. Good luck. Make me proud. I just uh, realized I got a meeting in 15 minutes. I forgot about that. Um forward or stop I think we're gonna have to pause recording while we attend a meeting or two hold on let me see what, how many meetings I gotta deal with here oh, there we go hold on Turbine IT security registry is a list of all backdoor connections you have delivered and secured using the Fox Acid server. Okay, why do you want me to click on that? Though? Turbine C2 registry oh, initiated. Okay. Yeah, we have a connection. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> connection completed. Okay. And there's no, at least not that I've seen, any way to indicate what I'm currently connected to. Like, there's no network information or anything. So, I guess whatever. Um, inspect the network for potential digital repositories using a WMI scanner, which I thought they said would be under the network intrusion tab. But it is not, it's under information gathering. Information gathering module initiated. Alright. Data will create a port and technology to use to host the app of the database target path. Might have to do a... Alright, I guess not scan. Do I need a target? Guess not. Scan computer name from... Uh, there's a share right there. Password attack and intrusion module initiated. This provide a target URL. And admin share. I'm guessing it's supposed to be Nightman. Basic hash again. Target going to be the uh, IP address. Eight five one five two seven two four. Hmm. 
Maybe I do need to run through the hisses. They wanted to say the friends of mine and modules would help me um, figure out what this is. And these aren't tools that I had to use in tutorials, so. Is about a target you were in? I. Oh, I, it's because I had the wrong. Wrong user. It's not Nightman. I was thinking. Dayman! Ah, and light. There we go. User. And wait, wait. Admin share. I'm still sick, by the way, in case you can't tell. I can't sing even when I'm not sick, but just so you know, for the record. Target there acquired. Awaiting variables to launch attack. Alright. Rocky is a password list. We want to use that. What is this even supposed to be? Okay, hold on a sec. Rocky was a password list. LinkedIn, eHarmony, and social media. What are they supposed to be? Like dump lists and Gmail and Hotmail. Are they supposed to be dump lists? And John the Ripper is what? But John, when you use John the Ripper, you use a password list. You use Rocky or something. And this is supposed to be what? A number of... I don't know. Whatever. I would think Rocky alone would be sufficient. But... Attack launched. What's it running? What is this supposed to be? It's a brute force attack, obviously. Did they tell me they didn't want me to do automated brute force attacks? In the terms and conditions? Or is this acceptable in the context of the game? Because then when would it not be acceptable? Like, we checked last time we played, these hosts are, are out there, they're real. So could I be... Do I need to be actually using the tools in the game? Or could I actually fire up my Kali VM and use that to launch these attacks? Like, could I actually be running brute force... Well, I mean, I'm not supposed to because the terms and conditions said, but could I? I don't know. Is this... I mean, this is obviously supposed to be... Like, the game at the beginning said that there are ARG elements and real-world events and stuff like that. This is very clearly a recruiting tool <laughs> from the NSA. This entire game is obviously... This is just like America's Army back in the day when it was a recruiting tool for the U.S. Army. This is clearly a recruiting tool for, for uh, intelligence services. Um, but uh, I forgot where I was going with this. What was I saying? Oh, oh, right. So I just, I just don't know where the the line is supposed to be here and what I could be doing. Um, is this a game or is it not? Is it... I don't know. This is just weird. I'm overthinking it, I'm sure. Is there something I could be doing while I'm waiting for this to go? Because they only gave me the one task. I feel like I, I could be doing something else while I'm waiting for this to fill up. Call me crazy, but sitting around for two minutes just watching a progress bar fills up, fill up isn't my idea. Password successfully compromised. Isn't my idea of a, a good game. BCC to the moon. Okay. Uh, so we don't need that anymore. Uh, now, let's see. All I want is a terminal connection so that I can connect to it. Um, and I change directory to it. No. I don't have any standard command line, any things. I don't know what this platform is supposed to be based on, but I don't have anything. Um. Yeah, this just does. Each command line utility is its own terminal. Um, I don't have a a thing. So mounting shares. There. Turbine C2 registry initiated. How would we mount shares? This is supposed to be a Windows machine. Uh, that we're targeting over there. Attack. Goliath 7 requirements not met. Alright, what's this? Hive Mind Network active. X key score forensics initiated. We didn't do the forensics module yet. I want to change my theme. Um 
because I'm tired of this. I'm hoping that another theme would be better with the skin. Okay, I guess I guess I did that. Hacking from another time. Oh, I, I don't know how I earned these. Do I own that DLC? I don't even know. I don't remember buying a quantum package. I don't know. I bought this on super sale, so I don't know. Alright, whatever. I guess I'll... Hey, that's why I wanted to do it. I saw that there was an achievement for changing your skin. Let's see if it improves the... Look at this. Oh god, it's so much worse. That's worse. Oh my god, it was better until I got to this screen. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. It's like they're intentionally trying to fry my fucking eyeballs. Okay, that's better. At least it's dark and, and subdued. Alright, now where was I though? Uh, oh yeah, we had an admin share and we had uh, the password for an light man. Um, but how mount, how mount share, how explore in Stinger OS, whatever the fuck this is supposed to be. That's my sh oh, and I st it's still spanning two monitors, but it's just really irritating when it does that. Network administrator, no. Well, what the fuck? You think that this would be covered by the training, right? It's, this is a really simple, regular old operation here that we're trying to do. To play a co op, no thanks. No, thank you. Nope, I'll go back. Information gathering. Active directory. Aircraft. Didn't my skin. Exploit database. No. Where does Active Directory even Information to be? gathering module initiated. It's supposed to be an LDAP lookup on a target AD? I don't know. It doesn't say. Password attack. Man in the middle. Social engineering. No. File browser. There we go. Let me get it out. Uh, ECC. Ooh. Okay. This script kitty managed to infect themselves. That's pretty careless. Look at this list. Hmm. There's a lot here, but all the malware is outdated. Some of them are at least five years old. Well, except uni74455.dll. No idea what that is. Never seen it before. Can you download it so I can get a closer look? So first of all, I uh, I object to use uh, this game using the term script kitty against anybody. I'm literally playing a hacking game in a fictional OS that doesn't even have a proper terminal. And to cast aspersions on anyone else's ability is fucking laughable, uh, given what I've seen from this game so far. So that's pretty disappointing. Um, but whatever. I guess I guess the the brilliant agent Dylan is going to do all the analysis on this one. <sighs> and it would be nice to get a closer look at some of these files. I would like to see them. I would like to take a look at them. But it's, I'm sure, there's a stage. Oh, is that it? That was it. There's not a part two. Master of Puppets. Chapter 2. So it does continue. It's the same thing. Do I want to try this one? No, let's, let's, let's finish. I don't know how many parts there are to this. And it doesn't really tell me. What's this? X, Y, Z, Z. Ah, position of the globe. Hmm, boy, the x-axis seems to begin over here at this parallel. I wonder what that could possibly be referring to. Greenwich Mean, maybe. Let's see if we can cross the equator. Yeah, there we go. 
Z X. Things just got okay. a whole more complicated. The blood dev leak is bad news, but it looks like our arsenal wasn't the only one compromised. The main intelligence directorate of the Russian Federation, no, also no, known no, as no, GRU, no, no, no. confirmed UNI 74455.dll as one of their projects. Well, not exactly confirmed, but I'll spare you the details. Okay. GRU agreed to help us on this case, and they've shared the identity of a suspect, Nathan Lightman. He's likely the owner of that computer you infiltrated. You think? We've pulled his financial information, of course, ideas, the and records, Lightman and uploaded it to your ex-keyscore. And of course, the malware that we're looking your for, mission blood objectives would be named are blood dub. investigate Nathan Lightman's IDs and records and financial transactions, access his cell phone and analyze his recent activities, identify the details of Lightman's acquisition of military-grade malware. All right, all right, so we need to do some investigative work. Yeah, I mean, really give me an investigative. If they wanted me to do investigative work for the first, oh, I got my meeting to get to. I'm gonna pause this, I'll come back to it. But if they wanted me to do investigative work for my first mission, then why didn't they start with digital forensics in the training? Because I haven't done any information gathering or any of the shit they actually trained me on in the tutorial. Anyway, I'll be back with you after this. Back, but I only have a couple more minutes to see if we can finish up this uh, next mission before I gotta go to another appointment. So, uh, where were we? Sorry, but you expect me from the expert company to of course. Uh, oh, I like how Gru over here is a negative 3000 rep. Who's the keeper of the rep? Why does Sad have 1250? I feel like this might be some kind of American propaganda. Uh, all right, it was Nathan Lightman, uh, X key score files, break into his cell phone, find suspicious online activities, track down the news online connections, okay. This is again some I've famous... uploaded the Russian intel on Nathan Lightman to your X key score. Let's try to figure out his phone's MAC address so- Stop. okay. Uh, so we, this is another thing that we have not yet been trained to do, but I do remember seeing this. X key score forensics initiated. What a stupid operating system. I want an operating system that just announces all of the things that it's doing. Uh, Grew Investigation Database, Nathan Lightman. Uh, I guess I correlate those two financial transactions. Uh, run. Banking transactions. Forensics initiated. Seriously. Okay. 
Southampton and United Kingdom dated birth, 1982, age 36, well, not anymore, but okay, Salisbury, United Kingdom, British status, engaged, relative norm, tracking cell phone, MAC address, number Samsung, okay, no arrest record, and fingerprints, which I assume are important. Let's make sure how to get those up. Okay, let's click on this so that thing goes away. There's no documents, banking transactions, we profile, okay, and I know we'll go back and I want this. All right, and now we need to do something with a cell phone. I remember there being a network intrusion there. module initiated. Uh, I'm copy and paste that MAC address. Do I have to remember this? Of course, it's an operating system that we can't copy and paste in, so it's definitely the most useful operating system ever invented. Piece of shit. C O. F6, C2, settings, Samsung. That's not it. <laughs> all I need is the MAC address and the vendor, and I can take over their phone. That's all I need. <laughs> all right. <laughs> membership card, but that's a Monero wallet ID. However, I'm not sure about that node ID. Okay. Track down any of his online connections and then over this node ID, but I can't add this to the thing unless it adds it all. Connections based on the next system. Okay. There's not an easy way to pair me up this game so let's go back. Endpoint trade and encrypt net auction. Just, do I have a browser that I can use? Just a simple browser. Intrusion module initiated. Trade credit net dot auction. Information gathering module initiated. Initiated. Yeah, looks like a dead end. 
and we don't have a zero-day exploit for this technology either. Hmm. Let's try something. Fire up your Hydra terminal. It's a multi-protocol command line interface you'll find in your network intrusion menu. Use the connect command, command to see if we can interface, interface with this endpoint. Multi-protocol command line interface. Information That's gathering module initiated. Intrusion module initiated. A seven seven one nine zero. Cryptnet network? Never heard of it before. But that's clearly where the trade took place. Last transaction shows a deal with a user who goes by Dr. Ripper. And there's our DLL. How much did he pay for it? It was the same. Chapter 3 here, Sympathy for the Devil, and we'll go through that one, but uh, I don't have a little time. I'm going to get to another one. Maybe I'll look up the pretty when I get back, because I don't have anything scheduled afterwards. So, um, and if you enjoyed Part 2, I guess we'll see you back for Part 3 if you're still watching.